Yes, made your pain, baby. Now I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let me get serious. What's up everybody, yet again I have another Let's Plat video for you, as well as a topic I'd like to talk about. Very recently I read an article about Insomniac poking fun at Ubisoft for not having a playable female character, which I think is kind of interesting, because they created a female character named Aveline for their PS Vita title, Assassin's Creed Liberation. And so this is kind of interesting that they would say something like that, but I think it's more along the lines of saying that in their mainstream titles for the, for the main consoles, don't allow for a male or a female option, which is kind of something that we should be thinking more about, but also on, 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 the, on the subject, I mean, I want to talk about how her story doesn't kind of fit around a female character. I mean, the, the assassins, Le the League of Assassins, are more of a masculine type character, and they're, they're more they're more about being brutes and being aggressive and stuff like that. And you see this from the uh, the co co role in the Black Flag, where the the female assassin kind of dresses up to kind of pretend to be a male because that's kind of what. It, is fit into that society but this is so definitely something that we need to get past I mean we definitely need to see more female roles and um, my favorite game The Last of Us has some very strong female roles and I think that's what makes the game so interesting uh, you have Tess at the beginning she's a very strong character and somewhat even seems more stronger than Joel at the, at the time and then you have um, Ellie who then like she grows throughout the whole game and you just start feeling this attachment to her and it's kind of more of like a father-daughter attachment but like once you begin to play her you start to like understand a little bit more the female role and then in, in the DLC you start to you know find out more about her and I think that's more of an interesting because it's more of a touching uh, heartfelt story rather than you know, where Joel's story is like, I have to get you here because I'm your father, I'm like a father figure and I have to protect you and I'm gonna be all, you know, tough and masculine and beat the crap out of these zombies and, or infected and uh, other survivors. So, you definitely get that, that feeling, but the reason why you're playing as Joel is because you're supposed to feel that way. It goes with the story. And I feel that if it goes with the story, then, then you have to have that role. But like in like a game like Transistor, where you can have the female as the lead role because the female or the story revolves around the female. So I feel that Assassin's Creed kind of doesn't allow you to play male or female because the assassins are kind of more of a male-centric group. So I definitely understand where Asomniac's coming from. We definitely need to go past this. We definitely need to start having more male and female roles. Um, Actually, the first female, male and female role that I was able to choose from, I went female. Uh, Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 1, the Mass Effect series. I, uh, I played the Mass Effect series as a female. I wanted to play the, the female Shepard. And although going through the game, you could tell that the, the role was kind of a masculine feel to it. It kind of felt like it was more, more of the male side of it, I, I still enjoyed the female role. I mean, the voice acting kind of kind of carried it away from the, the male aspect there. And it was definitely eye-opening. I mean, I've never played as a female, and that's kind of why I played the females, because the female shepherd is because I never played a female character before. And it's definitely nice to start seeing us move towards that. I would really like to see more of it, as the female role is a lot more interesting as, you know, I mean, Kratos, he was very one-sided, I'm angry, I'm going to kill everything, and and all that such, I'm just going to be an uber badass. But the female, you mean, you kind of get more of a heartfelt story, kind of more of a deep story, and you kind of start to feel something for the character. And that's when the connection between gamer and character, uh, yeah, gamer and the character become one. So, I mean, that's definitely something I would like to see. 
start happening. Um, we also see a lot of uh, gender chosen classes inside multiplayer, which is, I think, it's all right, but it's just not a big enough step. It definitely needs to see more story generated. for females um, so that's what I believe I believe that as long as the story isn't affected by a, by uh, the, the role if, if the character can be an ambiguous if the character is ambiguous then it definitely should be able to choose between male and female but if it's gonna hinder the story or make the story feel less of what you're trying to, to achieve then, then you need to have your select role and I don't think we should um, judge people on their games for that reason um, but anyways what what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below if you can like and subscribe to the video that would be great also if you could share with your friends and you can also follow me on twitter major pain 2587 and also accepting friends or re friend requests on psn major pain 2587 as well i uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one